Did that look organic? <laughs> Good morning from Laura, Spain. We have been in Spain and in Europe for two and a half weeks, yeah, something like that. About three. We felt like this would probably be a good time to make a video on what we brought. Now um, that we've gone through different adventures, we've kind of worn the same things. Yeah, we're but we have the same clothes that we brought with us. We planned to make this video around this time because we've been here for like three weeks. We figured we would kind of have a, a feel for what we need and what we don't. And just as we thought, we have overpacked. We knew this would be the case, but I also didn't think it would be as drastic as it is. I was shocked. Yeah, it's bad. <laughs> we wanted to make a video. We've gotten some questions about what we're carrying with us. What do you need when you travel? full time. Even if we were only doing this for three months, we'd probably take everything that we have with us now. It doesn't really matter that much between a three month trip or a six month trip or a year or two. First item and the biggest items that we have, our travel bags. These are the Away Bigger Carry-Ons. We asked for these in our wedding registry and Hannah's aunts and uncles were kind enough to get this for us. These have been exactly what we wanted and more. They fit comfortably in an overhead bin on a plane, on a train. They're extremely durable. The zippers are very strong. These come with a battery in the back. So you can charge your phone, you can charge whatever electronics you have from your bag. So it's it's been perfect for us, especially on the long travel day. And it lasts a really long time. There's four dots on this battery and I think I've charged it once. And yeah. I've used this pretty much since we got to Spain and I still have two dots left. Really strong products. I mean, these things are are fantastic. We always recommend away luggage because in my opinion, it's it's the best. Then the next thing we will go into is our backpacks. These are the two biggest things that we have. Now these are supposed to be our personal items. They're probably right at the limit, if not a little bit bigger. It's got a security feature, which I really enjoy. It opens from the back. So you don't ever have to worry about anybody getting into the main compartment of your bag. And then the, the compartment in the middle is huge and very spacious. Then you've got a laptop sleeve right there. Um, you've got a small one, a large one. I just love it. It's been everything that we wanted and more. And then it's also got a side compartment right here. And I'm not gonna go into an in-depth review of this Nomadic bag, but we do have a little RFID pouch, small little pouches up top. And if you've got stinky shoes, then there's a compartment for you. It fits perfectly over your luggage too. It slides right on, so you can roll your bag together. I think we've done this in a few of our videos too. <laughs> so next part is our clothing that goes in our away bags. And this is probably going to be the- Most telling part of the differences between Trey and I. Yeah. I don't think there's gonna be that much of a difference. She's got me beat on the quantity. I've got my amount written down. So do I. Here we go. We wanted to get good packing cubes. Yours came in a pair of four and yes. mine was in a pair of six. Yes. I mean, they all fit in my bag perfectly. Obviously they're away, so they're they're very compatible with the away bag. They're very durable and the zippers just, I pack these things to the brim yeah. and don't have any problem zipping them up. And the good thing about away is if they do tear, you can always return them. I love away. Uh, they've been fantastic love for us away. so far. It's helped me stay organized so that I can get everything back into my bigger carry-on bag. Now we're gonna dive into our clothing and what we brought. I'll oh, go, I'll first? start with socks. Okay. So I, I took 11 pairs of socks. I will tell you that I've not come close to having all of these used between loads of laundry. I have four pairs of long socks and six pairs of short socks. So you've got 10 pairs of socks. Yeah. So I'm actually worse off than you right now. I have used all of my regular socks right. and been left only with my long socks, which sometimes isn't the most ideal situation. Okay, I'm gonna go to leggings slash, I have ridden underwear, but they're like boxers. So I have two pairs of athletic briefs. I've got nine pairs of boxers and I've got two long john athletic leggings. So in total, I have 13 items of clothing in this thing. Yeah, that's that's a lot. So I have 18 pairs of underwear, two bras, and two running bras in here. So I extremely, 18. 18. I will be downsizing quite a bit on that. So then you also said leggings, which brings me to my 
pants bag, I think is probably my most full. So let's just go through this real quick. I have in this bag, not including the joggers that I'm wearing, one pair of insulated leggings, four pairs of regular leggings, two pairs of spandex shorts, two pairs of running shorts, two pairs of joggers, one pair of sweatpants, one pair of jeans, and one jumpsuit. <laughs> I have a method to the madness too. You know the little intro video where we're like, in 2021, we booked a one-way ticket and sold almost all of our belongings. I got rid of so many clothes, and what's funny is, right before we left, felt like I had no clothes to wear. Christmas activities, I was wearing the same sweater every single day. All my clothes were packed in this bag. All right. <laughs> so all in total, 15 pairs of pants situations. I feel like this would be so totally different going to Asia for a year where it was like warm. Whereas yes. here it's like kind of chilly here and we're then we're going to be in both. Eastern Europe in yeah. I guess a couple weeks. And that's going to be super duper cold. So that's kind of why we have so many clothes. And we're not going back to the States until June. And then by June, when we get back, we only have a few months until we need cold weather gear. Again. Yeah. We're kind of preparing for both, which is what you would need to pack if you're leaving for a year too. So my next thing is my shorts. I have two khaki slash polo shorts, and then I've got five pairs of athletic shorts, and I've worn all of those. So that's my shorts bag. I'll jump to my shirts, and I have nine short sleeve shirts. To be honest with you, I don't need this many shirts. There are like two of them that I just haven't touched, so I'll probably get rid of those. So one thing I didn't mention, I do have one workout dress. This is something I wanted for the summer, but it doesn't go in a bag. I also don't pack my Chelsea jersey in one of my bags because it doesn't fold very well and I don't want it to get super, super wrinkled. Okay. I feel like I should, this should be like a Price is Right game. <laughs> How many shirts? Between the two of these in here, I have two sweaters, three cropped long sleeve shirts, four long sleeve shirts, eight cropped like tank top, and then one t-shirt. One t-shirt. I can't believe I had one t-shirt. That's what I thought was most shocking. Well, it all fits in her bag. Hopefully she I don't makes need it happen. Them. So, for my outerwear, this is my bag. So this basically fits in a compartment, one side of my away bag. Two long sleeve pullovers, one hoodie, three pairs of joggers, and I also have that long sleeve sure. shirt. That's basically all that I have in my outerwear. I'm able to make room in my bag so that I can wedge these in there. These are my Brooks Ghosts. They're incredible. If I'm going on a hike, if I'm going, if we're going for a long walk through a city. These things are miraculous. They do wonders for my feet. And then also, I've got a pair of white New Balances, kind of add a little bit more style. So I wanted a pair of black shoes and white shoes and a pair of flip-flops that I bought in Puerto Rico a few months ago. These will be used in the summer, ideally. As of right now, they're just kind of sitting in my bag. So I also have a pair of flip-flops. I've used these for our first Airbnb in Madrid. It wasn't a hostel, but it was an Airbnb. It was like a private room. I wore these like to and from the shower. But other than that, I have not used them. And then I also have a pair of Brooks. Yeah. I love Brooks. So I use these as running shoes for hiking and walking around cities and all of that. Yeah. And then I did not bring any other pair of shoes. So when we first got here, that was my only pair of shoes. The quality of them was diminishing quite rapidly. So I ended up getting some just slip on easy shoes. These shoes were 25 euros and they're comfortable. I wore them the day that I bought them and we walked around the entire city of Seville and I did not get one blister. Also, I have a rain jacket and I also have this pullover that keeps me warm. And, and then, then you have a hat. And then I have a hat. I brought one hat, which if you know me, that is impressive. As far as outer garments for me, I have this jacket which I wear over my Patagonia jacket all the time. Yeah. I also have a rain jacket and a Braves hat, but I haven't worn this yet. <laughs> World Series champions. Okay, so we've talked about our shoes, we've talked about our clothing, and to wrap up clothes, we do have laundry bags. I know these are probably not a secret for a lot of you. I can't stress enough how amazing these things are. Unzips, and as you might guess, it unfolds into a huge laundry bag yeah. that we throw all our stuff in. So our toiletry bag, pretty small. It's a Herschel toiletry bag. It's got a strap that kind of hangs. Got a little brush in here. Deodorant, a tr hair trimmer for my facial hair when it gets unruly. A quick toothbrush. 
We've also got Toms. Things that you would normally have access to, but when you're traveling for as long as we are, we don't know if they'll have them. I have this toiletry bag that has a lint roller, uh, deodorant, this makeup brush that's compact, my jewelry case, and just all the things that you would need, but are not liquids. And this is because when you fly, you have to have all of your liquids fit inside of this quart bag. They can also only be three milliliters of liquid. I do have a lot of travel size lotion, a travel size hair product. All of that stuff has just kind of fit in here. I also found out that makeup wipes are not included as a liquid. And then I also have a Quip toothbrush, which these toothbrushes have been amazing. This part will be just miscellaneous accessories that we highly recommend that we've brought with us. Mm -hmm. Our electronics bag, we've got no shortage of cords. And there's a lot of open spots right now, and the reason is because they're all plugged up in their charging. This thing's huge, it's got plenty of compartments for plenty of cords. So one thing that's not in here that we do have is a little $30 Amazon Fire Stick. As much as we're traveling and as fast as we're traveling, we don't wanna to forget to log out of our Netflix account or download a streaming service because it's not included on that smart TV. So the Amazon Fire Stick has been very helpful. We've got this as well, a power strip. Yeah. We got these from my mom for Christmas. These are specifically for Europe and these things are so much better than the ones we had before. If you're traveling for a year and you don't have nearly as much electronics as we do, you might not need a power strip. You might not need several yeah. different outlet adapters. If you are traveling with a lot of electronics, a power strip is a must. It's so nice because we've not had a ton of outlets in the places that we've stayed. If you're going to drive in Europe, definitely want to get one of these. It's an international driving permit and it basically translates your US driver's license to Europe and the EU. Just go to your local AAA, they'll take your picture. It's like 35 bucks. They'll convert all of it. I didn't know I'd need to take a picture. I had a hat head so badly. I'm not gonna show you this. <laughs> Hannah might. Hannah got this for me for my birthday last year. It's a photography camera notebook. Just what I've been taking notes in. Just get a notebook. One more thing. When you're on a long flight, for instance, for me, when we were flying over here, my in-flight entertainment did not work. It kept flashing. They couldn't even shut it off. The entire time I was like, well, how do I watch a show, consume anything to make this flight go shorter? They're paralogics. So basically they clip onto the back of the tray table. It just sits like that in front of you. These are game changers. If you're traveling, even if you're on a long bus ride, a long train ride, this is the big thing for me. I love yeah. these things and they're tiny. They take up like no space. Mm -hmm. I found this on a bunch of different sites while we were getting ready to travel. Alarm door stopper in situations like the shared room in Madrid. It's added a sense of just security yeah. and takes up no space. It's very small. It's very lightweight. It's something I never would have thought of. I also have a laptop stand. If you are editing, if you are working while traveling, if you are really doing anything that requires a laptop. This has been a lifesaver. My neck and my back thank Trey for suggesting that I get something like this. It's very, very lightweight. It's very thin, which is great for packing. I highly suggest this one. And then we also have water bottles. Water bottle. I broke mine before we left the state. But this has been really helpful to have, especially if you're in an airport. I feel like it's always good to fill up a water bottle before you get on a plane. That's a pro tip. Anytime you fly, take an empty water bottle, go through security, fill, fill it, up it up after you've gone through. Especially if it's a long flight because your body gets dehydrated so much when you fly. So you wanna continue to hydrate while you're flying. Just one other quick thing for all of my accident prone friends out there. I brought athletic tape. This is a very versatile item. We also have a mini little first aid kit and motion sickness bands because if we do adventures, even traveling, when we've been driving through Alora, roads are very, very, very wide. I also wore these on our travel day on the plane because I wasn't sure how my body was gonna react. It's been a long time since I've flown eight hours nonstop. Takes up zero space. And these are just really nifty items if you are accident prone like me. So that's pretty much everything we have with yeah. us currently. I'm sure that we can do a video later on once we've downsized, because as we've mentioned, we we'll insanely overpacked. Yeah, we did. This is a rough draft, rough for draft sure. Rough draft packing list. But we'll include links down below of some of the items that we 
did bring with us. If you've done this kind of travel thing before and you're thinking, oh, these two could really benefit from this item, please let us know. Get down in the comment sections. Let us know what you think. Thanks so much for sticking with us on this video. Thanks so much for tuning in. Things are about to get crazy. So we wanted to do this video before things got nuts. <laughs> we'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Here. Woo. You're not doing this very well. <laughs> Slides right on. Wrong way. Wrong way. <laughs> Wrong way. <laughs> you know what's kind of crazy, sidebar? That's the best shower we've had. Is Tijuana? Tijuana. I had like eight to ten hats. I yeah. love hats. I just wear hats all the time.